Hello, welcome to Phil's Art. Um, I thought I'd like to show you the palette knives that I do use sometimes. Um, that one for mixing the paints up. Those two. And it's simply lit literally following the the contour of the waves that I've got this painting here that I've done and the, the, the waves are going there and so you follow it with the, with, the, with the palette knife as you go through or that one there following it that way there's a, another, another one there and you sort of when you put the white paint on you sort of bring it along like that and the, the rocks uh, with the palette knife another two, this is another another one also don't throw any of your old brushes away. I find that very useful, that old brush, um, for doing the, 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 the surf of the, on the sea. There's another old, old brush there. And also these cotton buds are useful for blending in. So I'll just throw a little bit of paint on a, a painting just to have a look and, and uh, do that. Also... With acrylic, I'm using acrylic, and those are the those are the co colours that are are good really. The cerulean blue, the cobalt blue, ultramarine white, uh, a, a, a yellow um, which is a, a um, and a red, and also black. I do use black from time to time. So I thought that we'd have a look and just look at the waves here. If the waves are there, we'll, we'll mix a little bit of this up. This is just a very quick demonstration. And I, and, and don't, I personally don't think it's, it's a, I think it's a good thing not to mix it all up. You know, a bit of white showing. And you can sort of, I'll put my hand there, and you can sort of produce the wives, it's, it's backwards and forwards like that. And so it produces some of the waves. Which is quite a good, good thing. If I wanted to um, put a white there, maybe have a little bit of yet, maybe have a little tiny bit of yellow, and you could you can sort of go along like that. I'll have to put some more white actually. You can go along like that. And produce the produce the the waves, or with a, a bud, you can sort of, and that produce that makes it look as if the as if the wind is blowing the waves as it's going over, like that. So they're all sort of different techniques that you can use, and it will all help with the uh, a, 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 this making the a, a, a sea scene. Now let's just put something here for argument's sake if we had wanted to put a, a wave coming there we would use the palette knife and bring it down now I haven't got enough paint there so I'll put there and we would bring and it would bring it bring it over like that so I'll hold it again Make it a bit yellow, make it a bit uh, green. And so we go along there. I'll have to put some more white. I haven't got enough white in there. Nowhere near enough white. Right, let's see, make that a bit better. If there was a hollow in that, if you remember, if, if, if you see the waves, they, they, they come up like that and they're going over and you, you do that with a, with a palette knife and you can then put that up the lighter part there where the, where the waves are going over. And we'll now we'll use the brush. And try and put a few surf on there like so. Okay. 
as I say, you just keep building it up until it produces the waves. Put a, a tiny bit of dark there in that one. So that produces that, and then maybe there will be a dark patch here under that part where the waves are coming over. And literally, literally follow the waves with the with a pallet knife. Maybe that wants to be more like that. And then these coming over like that. The only snag with acrylics is that it does dry quite quickly. Also, wipe the palette knife as you're using it. And maybe there's a, a bit of a, a froth there. Let's try another palette knife. One that's a little bit harder and a bit bigger. So I'm mixing it up here on there, I don't you can see that. A bit greener. So you follow the waves up. And then going down to that, down to there. And I'll put some white just there. That's not particularly wonderful there. Okay, put a see if I can hold it there. Or use an old a brush. to help it bring it down like that. So use whatever whatever brushes, or old brushes, palette knives or what have you to give you, to help you as you produce the waves. Okay, I'll just do one more and then we'll I'll finish. There is sometimes a little bit of red. Here where it goes up and down. And you follow the waves with it with a palette knife going backwards and forwards. Putting a bit more white there.
Okay, well, I'll, I'll um, hope that's been uh, useful to you. Um, it's a very quick demonstration, and, and obviously there's a lot more work got to be done, but it, it, the, the secret really is keeping the palette knife clean and just following what the waves are. The, the waves will go, they're going up there. And then they're, then they're crushing, crashing down. And so that's, that's the secret of, uh, if there is such a thing as a secret, of doing waves. And just experiment and have fun with the painting because that's what it's all about. So I thought I'd show you the finished painting that I started, if you remember, on the last video. Um, that's the main palette knife I've used, going backwards and forwards, like I said before, going up and down and around there, cutting into that, and that was the main one I used. I did also use that one for going along here, and occasionally that one too. That was another brush I used, an old brush, but it, it's lost completely lost its point, but I find that very useful because it's sort of like got an edge on it and that can be very good for doing anything like that or for painting the rocks there like so and uh, last of all a very fine uh, brush that I use I find very good and that was literally for all the details here the foam um, and giving it a, a little bit of lift the foam was actually got a slightly bit of yellow lemon yellow mixed with the with the white just to give it a little bit of lift. So, okay, so that's the finished painting. I haven't quite, I haven't signed it yet. Um, I hope that's been useful to you. Don't forget to subscribe and see you later on. Cheers.